holy moly, I just finished filming um, another video and I'm freaking dying. It's freaking hot. It's freaking hot. Saturday, July 23rd, and it's like 9 in the morning now. And I checked in with my coach, just waiting to hear back from her. You guys saw my weigh in, I was about 143.6, lowest I've been so far. Woo -woo, woo -woo. And I did my posing, and there's dad. We were just sitting outside talking to his parents for a little bit. Now we're just making some coffee, and the dog's barking. And I'm just having it black today no with some of these eh, uh, liquid stevia drops and English toffee. So good. I don't know if you guys if you guys have noticed, but I actually added an Amazon store down in the description box so that anything that you guys have a question about that I use, I've actually put it in the Amazon store so you guys can just click it from there and just get it from there. So if you guys have any questions about what I use, like my waffle maker, the English toffee, stevia drops, my, um, oh this, the skinny syrup mocha that you guys are always asking about, I put that there as well. Pretty much anything that I use, I get from Amazon. So I've just added it so you guys can just go click that link and just get it. Agenda for today, uh, Taz and I are just gonna go to the gym and I think that's it, maybe, but. <laughs> so like I was saying, the plan for today is just to go to the gym and I don't know what, really. We're supposed to be in Rhode Island right now, but our, we're having car, we are having car problems again and we were suggested to not take the car to Rhode Island, so we couldn't go to Rhode Island. We're staying here and going to the gym and doing things here. I'll let you know what Michelle says when I hear back from her about my check-in. I'm excited, hopefully my meal plan changes. Not sick of it, but would like to change. Um, 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 um. I think that's it, so I'll catch you guys in a later. Gay Taz. Jam has seeds, jelly does not. Oh gosh, let me get this right. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's breakfast. Oh. All the same. Today's egg whites. I added onions and peppers. Today's fruit of the day is some yummy peaches or nectar, whatever. Same family, who knows, but they're yummy, juicy peaches. Ezekiel bread with sugar-free jam. Is it jam? This is jam. It's jam. Today's jam. All right, so here's the discussion that we're having. What's the difference between jam and jelly and preserves and what's the other one? Uh, fruit, a fruit spread, spread a chutney. So fruit spread, jelly, jam, chutney. All these different preserves. terms. What the heck is the difference between all of them? They all do the exact same thing. If you know the answer of the difference between all those things, comment below because I don't know. I just know that they all taste good. <laughs> Alright, this is breakfast. Oh, I forgot to mention that I woke up lighter today. And yesterday it was rest day, and I was pretty much on bed rest all day yesterday because I felt like shit. I had like a headache or whatever it is that I feel sometimes, so. Oh, and I ate all my meals. So, that's good. And today I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm not feeling 100%. I'm not feeling 100%, but I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna try and make it happen, so. That's that. Still waiting on Michelle to get back to me. So I'm eating my food still. But I'm happy that I got back to 143, or that I'm lowest that I've been on this prep. And if we put things into perspective, it's only two weeks that I'm into this prep, and I'm 143. 
Yeah, it's not that bad. Not bad at all, babe. Not bad. Not bad. Killing it. All right, I'm gonna go eat. Peace out. Hello again. We are on our way to the gym. And I was just thinking, and I brought it up to Taz about an idea that I just had. I was thinking that we could have like a boot camp type thing outdoor. Sorry, I'm like foam rolling, massaging my back. A boot camp. Boot camp outdoor workout. Boot outdoor workout. Boot camp outdoor workout here in New Hampshire. We obviously don't have details yet because it's literally just thought about this. But I, we just wanted to put it out there and see who would be interested. If you live in New Hampshire if, or, like or the surrounding area. in the surrounding areas, yeah. Pretty much it'd be like what, like an hour maybe? Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. 45 minutes to an hour. One day a week, maybe like a Saturday morning. Saturday morning or Sunday morning. Yeah, so. It would be. It would be free, but we it would be like a pay what you want type of thing. Like we wouldn't charge anything, uh, but it'd be up to you if you wanted to support us. If, if so, then awesome. But if not, you know, it's it's whatever. Yeah. So um, let us know below if you want to do that. If you'd be interested in just like a workout like that, it'd be like a boot camp style. Probably minimal weights and stuff. It would be a lot of body weight stuff. Yeah, so, just outdoor. Um, get people together. Try and get a good group going. See. Let us know what you guys think. If you're in the area, in the New Hampshire area, Seacoast area, sea coast area let us know. Because it's funny because a lot of people have been commenting in my videos that they're in the area and they, you know, want to work out. So why not do something? So again, let us know if, you would, if you're interested in it and um, maybe we'll make it happen. So let's so, do it. Let's do it. But for now, Taz and I are going to go to the gym. Like I said, I'm just massaging my back because it's uber tight and that's it but yeah let me know if you're, if you're interested i want to do it i like really want to put so do that people want to meet you and stuff like that so it'll be a cool way to like work out and meet and you. meet people because i don't have any friends here <laughs> so let's be friends okay bye <laughs>
that I had last night and that I posted on Instagram that you guys wanted to see. So I will catch you guys when I get back. Look at the rainbow. What does it mean? Look how beautiful it is and the tree is covering it now. Look at it. Mm -hmm. It's a stripe. It's not even doing it justice. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's not doing it justice. It, that is the most brightest, largest rainbow I've ever seen in my life. I feel like I want to be a leprechaun and go chase it. Mm -hmm. Can we? Yes, you do. <laughs> We've just got back to our flat. Just finished watching Star Trek. It's actually rather good. Just returned. We've just returned from watching Star Trek. It was actually rather good. I started off rather slow, as predicted, but it got really, really quite exciting towards the end. And I held my breath for quite some time for a couple of the scenes. I was like, <gasps> what's gonna happen? Oh, that was really close. But really good. I enjoyed myself very much. Did you enjoy yourself? Hello. Hey. Why are you barking? Anyway, just got home. I'm going to have my two scoops of protein. I'm going to make one into a waffle and the other into my protein ice cream. And I'm going to make my protein waffle really quickly. You guys all know how to make that. I'm going to make that. And then I'm going to walk you guys through how I make my protein ice cream. So I'm going to make my waffle. And I'll be right back in two seconds. All right. So. Waffle is done. Now we're gonna move on to the ice cream. So I put in the one scoop of protein here. I'm using chocolate today. And you're just gonna pretty much add the ingredients. You're gonna need almond milk or cashew milk, ice. You can do cinnamon if you want, powdered PB. I think this is like the key ingredient to make it taste like a little bit better than just ice and protein. And then to make it like an ice cream consistency, you want xanthian gum. I know sometimes this gives people belly aches. I know guar, guar gum, guar gum um, works as well. I've never used it, but I know it does the same thing. And then also these little things, you can find them at Walmart. They come in different flavors. They have like cheddar cheese, bacon ranch. I just, I don't know how much flavoring it gives it, but I just think it does. So I'm gonna add that. Then you just add, go, go wild. And then some cinnamon. Again, that's all to taste really. And then the xanthine gum, you want to do about half, what, my pronunciation? There's no I, just xanthine. Oh, right, xanthine. <laughs> xanthine gum. <laughs> xanthine gum. You're doing half a teaspoon. <laughs> We're in Game of Thrones. Of xanthine gum. <laughs> Taz likes to make fun of me. And then I am measuring just out. Adding letters where they are. What? Just adding letters where they are. <laughs> Spinach butters. <laughs> Spinach butters. I'm gonna weigh out a uh, half a serving of this because <laughs> not in my diet plan. But I could get creative, Michelle said. So, uh, serving is 12 grams, which is a lot. So I'm just gonna do six grams. That's only two grams, and that was a lot. We're at four. <laughs> And I'm gonna add the almond milk. Sometimes people do a whole cup. I'm just gonna do half a cup and then if I need more um, liquid, I'll just do water. And then the ice. Oops. You can add uh, stevia if you want. I don't want to. And then you can put this in a blender or a ninja. Whatever you got. Again. I think there's still ice in there though. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's so good. Actually, let's add a little bit of water. Goes towards my gallon. <laughs> Aha. Voila. There you go. You get yourself a nice little froyo bowl. You've created yourself some nice soft serve ice cream. Mm. 
Voila. All done. There it is. So good. What I'll do is I'll dip my waffle. So good. Probably put some olive parmesan on it too. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end the vlog right here. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for a full day of eating this week with the new diet. Boom. Because there's new changes. You're going to want to see it. I promise. It's exciting. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, guys. Mwah.